let's take a look at finding the quartiles of a set of data on a TI-30XS calculator. Specifically, we're going to find the quartiles of the following data. So let's go ahead and put it in. So press my data. And uh, I already have numbers here, so I'll press delete over and over. Even though these are the same numbers, I'm going to re-enter. To clean out the list very fast, you press data one more time and do enter on one, clear L1. Okay, so I'm going to type in each number, pressing enter after each one. So 13 enter, 19 enter. I don't know how many times I've entered this same set of numbers. <laughs> 23 enter. This will be burnt in my brain. 31 enter. 45 enter. 46 enter. 47 enter. 51 enter. 53 enter. Okay, so I'm going to exit out. So do a second mode to exit out. And, um,. We're going to do second data, go into the stat menu, and we want to choose one of our stats because we've got a single list of numbers. Press enter on it. And um, L1 is where we put our data, so that's highlighted, so we're fine. If we put it in L2, we'd want to right arrow to L2 and press enter on it. Um, frequency is always one for purposes of this course. Down arrow to calculate and press enter. Now, if I da down arrow over and over, so we get this first one and it says q1 is equal to uh, 21 that's our first quartile so let me get my tablet up here wherever that's at there we go and we got q1 is equal to 21 we got three quartiles remember so let's find q2 if you keep down arrowing you don't find a q2 but you do find a median the median, M-E-D, uh, that's the same as uh, second quartile. So Q2 is 45. And then our third quartile is Q3, which is 49. And those would be our quartiles. In this video, we took a look at how to find the quartiles on a TI-30XS calculator.